Namaste. Welcome to Yogi Sai. My name is Anand Yogi. This is the first video of our channel. In this video, we are going to talk about open redirection vulnerability. So, what happens here? A web application accepts a user control input that specifies a link to an external site and uses that link in a redirect. This simplifies phishing attacks. And what attacker can perform is by modifying the URL value to a malicious site, an attacker may successfully launch a phishing scam and steal user credentials. Because of the server name in the modified link is identical to the original site, phishing attempts may have a more trustworthy appearance. In simple words, you try to visit a site but you get redirected to an attacker control site. Example, you try to visit a certain endpoint of xyz.com or xyz.com itself but you get redirect to pqr.com which is an attacker control domain. Let's suppose you are logging into your bank and checking your account balance and you visit your bank website. Let's consider it mybank.com and the endpoint you are visiting is account balance. So if that endpoint or the parameter is vulnerable then an attacker can perform an open redirect attack by sending you a link where he will replace the original endpoint URL in the vulnerable parameter which is own controlled domain endpoint and can take your details or important credential. That's it for the explanation. Let's move on to practical. So moving on to the practical, let's look at the first method. First we are going to use Wayback URL. So what Wayback URL will do is that it will crawl our target site and will collect all the URLs from it. Let's consider our target to be testphp.valnav.com and now let's run Wayback URL on it. So our command will be Wayback URLs testphp.valnav.com and we will save the output to a separate file. For this reason, we are going to use t command that is bwebhall.txt and now hit enter. As you can see, the result Vivek has collected and displayed all of the URL from our target. Next, we will filter out the URLs having any kind of parameter from the list Vivek has provided and we will use grep command to do so. So, let's our command be grep equal to http followed by the name of the file here it will be the file we have got from wayback url it is wayback.txt so what this command will do it will filter out the urls having any kind of url or link or in their parameter from our target file so like it will filter out the file like this like that it has some kind of parameter like this this ones let's hit enter in your case you can save the output to a separate file too perfect now we will copy one of these to confirm let's copy one over to our browser paste this and I will replace the link after parameter with our target site that is our attacker site which for this I will consider evil.com let's hit enter and perfect so you can see that we are being redirected to our control site or attacker control site But testing all of these URL out manually and checking them is certainly a Herculean task. Like you have to go through all of these URL which have any kind of parameter and then you have to replace with the HTTP equal to well.com. So we are going to use a little bit automation here. For this reason, we can use some kind of one-liner. First, let me clear the terminal. So we can use this one-liner here. Let's change our let's change the target.com to our target site. For that it will be testphp.vulnweb.com. Now let's copy this. 
and paste it in our terminal but make sure you have installed webac url and qs replex in your machine like you need to install both of this tool so make sure you have installed this first now coming to the one liner command so what you are doing first we are collecting all the url with the help of webac and after that we are separating the ones which have is equal to http in their somewhere in their parameter like we told previously here we are doing the same thing using grep now after that qs replace will replace the original url in the parameter with evil.com that is our attacker control domain now we are using a simple bash script to read out the replaced url and using curl to send a request and from the response what you are doing we are grepping out the ones which are getting redirected to evil.com and if it occurs it will print out that host and mark it as vulnerable now let's hit enter and check it will take some time maybe a minute or so okay so we got only one url anyway let's check it so let's copy this thing hit enter okay so you get to we can do this because i'm going to mistake Okay, we didn't put HTTP. We need to put H. Perfect. So we can get to a conclusion that it, this link is vulnerable. <coughs> another thing that we can use is GF pattern. It's a another kind of tool. So what is it? Just let me It's a tool written by Tom Nom Nom. It's a wrap around grep and work pretty much like grep. It comes with templates and to help in filtering out URLs which are possibly vulnerable to certain vulnerabilities like XSS, SQL, SSR, Open Redirect, etc. and a lot of others. Anyway, so the command which we will use is Wayback. So we are going to use Wayback URL once again. Followed by a target site name testpp.vulnerable.com. Followed by giving a pipe. After that, we will use GF. And the pattern for open redirection is redirect. Now let's see the result. So you can see that we are getting this much result. But one thing I have seen in case of GF while looking for open redirect with it, it gives comparatively lesser result. And there are a lot of false positive. As GF looks for a particular pattern, it misses out a lot of parameter. Which you can get in using some other methods like i told previously so as you can see the result here there are not at all look like this will be vulnerable to open redirection so just as i told about the false positive keep particularly in case of open redirect ga patterns gives a lot of false positive but again that's your choice if you find anything related to it then you can tell me but if you can't want to continue with gf then just use the same thing like do you use the command previously like using the previous reflex and the rest part only thing we need to change instead of grep is using the gf so let's just gf redirect and let's see if we get any result or not let's hit enter and we need to wait for a bit it will take certain time and you can see gf is not giving any kind of result 
so if you guys have got any result in with the help of gf pattern then please tell me in the comment section or you can try some other method with gf and if you get any is a good result with it also please let me know in comments another interesting tool out there is open redirect x this tool is created by devans botham the same guy who created the param spider if you know about param spider it's okay if not it's just a tool which extract all of our parameter from a particular domain that's it just if you want to install open redirect just git clone it and install it on your machine so at first what we will do we will use param spider to collect all of the parameter from our target site let's go to param spider our command will be python3 param spider.py followed by the name of the our target domain and we don't want to include any parameter which is having any kind of image so we will exclude png and jpg now hit enter okay so our output has been saved to a folder which is named output and the file is testpage.volnavi.com.txt and these are all the parameter we have got okay so let's move into the open redirect text one cool thing about open redirect text is that not only it helps you in finding out an open redirect for a particular site it also helps in finding the bypasses so suppose if your normal payload for open redirect is not working Open redirect text will also look for bypasses. So that's a very cool thing of open redirect text. So our command would be Python 3 open redirect text to five followed by the name of our target URL file. Sorry. So let me give the absolute path of it. After that, our payloads file followed by the keyword which is FOS. Hit enter and open redirect text will take some time to give the output. Excellent, we are already getting the output. So let's copy any one of them. Let's copy this one. Okay, so this is yeah, yeah, so this is redirected example domain and perfect. We are getting redirected to our attacker site. So that's all for this. Like these are all the tools we can use from command line and we can also use this for recon to find open redirect. Another cool way to look for open redirect is by Google Docs. So let's look at the doc. So we will use this doc. Let's copy and paste this over Google. Now hit enter. And you can see the result. Let's click on one of them to check. Let's click on this. Okay, so you can see that open redirection is being happened there, and we are being redirected to a third party site, this dogger.com. But one thing to keep in mind that this method gives a lot of false positive. So check each one of this URL manually. There is another way to look for open redirect. You can check this article in Ports figure using Bob to test for open redirection. But I particularly don't like this method. It takes a lot of time. But this is a pretty awesome article, so you can check this out. I will give the link in the description. 
so that's all for this video i hope you like the video as this is the first video of our channel so sorry for any kind of problems or error in it tell me down in comments if you enjoyed it and don't forget to give feedback so that we can improve the quality in our next videos good luck and keep hunting